Charles Henry Robinson was an American writer, an amateur scholar, and prehistoric man in Iowa. Born in 1843, he was a pension agent at Des Moines. From 1894 to 1898, he was seemingly representative for the 24th and 25th General Assembly of Iowa. He died in 1925. He wrote very extensively on prehistoric Iowa, his first work being the 1897 Primitive Man of Iowa and How He Lived. In 1913, he published two items of fiction, Hawk the Young Wasage, a story of Indian life and adventures in the early times, and today's subject, Longhead. The story of the first fire. The book begins with a primitive man named Longhead, due to his elongated head, on the few occasions where he met someone to call him something, witnessing fire for the first time when ignited by lightning. He is unimpressed and goes to rest in a nearby cave. The next morning, while poking around the remains of the fire, he accidentally uses a burning pole and a tiger as it prepares to maul him. This sets him thinking, and he pokes around the fire some more, but then goes his way. Mind you, Robinson here states that man at this stage didn't even understand his own role in propagation, which I consider a bit of a stretch. He even uses the term, since the fathers fell asleep, for these people in relation to how ancient and unchangeable they considered the rising and setting of the sun and moon, which feels a bit of a contradiction seeing it is followed by, there were no fathers. Longhead soon meets Broken Tooth, a woman he sort of knows, and when she's hungry, he decides to provide her with some food, possibly for somewhat personal reasons, and admits the rather ignoble reason for refusing to remain in his old haunts, due to having insulted a jealous man much bigger in size. Broken Tooth is soon convinced that his fire story is true, and after discovering the animals don't really like fire, which they themselves don't fear instinctively for some reason, the fire almost goes out. They rekindle it, and Longhead gets an idea, and all it takes is a burnt foot. The two move into a cave and stay together perpetually to keep the fire, deciding to fool anyone who would meet them by saying Longhead had made the fire in a mysterious way he dare not share. What follows is a series of accidents, dropping meat onto the fire and finding out you can cook it, burning a stick and cutting it away to make a spear, just as Longhead is about to be mauled by dogs. A stone is made by chance to explode and produces flint, and finding out that throwing a spear at a thing tends to kill that thing. Longhead, after indulging in some self-defense slash revenge with his new spear, proceeds to play the role of the fire's mysterious agent to all those who come to him, suddenly very interested in this fire thing and all it can do for them. He makes rules for everyone to follow, and threatens to extinguish all fires if they are not obeyed. Killing a rhino stuck in the mire and then gorging on its flesh with the entire tribe cements his position as leader, everyone deferring to his judgement even on matters which he has no way of knowing anything about. Long head and broken tooth now raised a comfortable life of priesthood and propitiation. The book is entertaining enough, but is written in a very non-novelistic style, where little detail is given to the characters and instead most of the book are descriptions of innovations, with action scenes being described in rather telegraphic fashion. There are still hints of style here, which raise it above simple educational fare, but there is better prehistoric fantasy out there.